just get to moving around a little bit too much right here. You see he's kind of going back and forth. He was going to the into the left and then he moved over to the right. And when you get right there, there he goes. Bam. Well, Kyle Busch, Kyle 18, got a, got a ton of damage. Pretty big hit. Watch Chef Gordon slip through here. I think got the worst of it because he's going to come down and then come back up into Almondinger. Type of bump drafting you used to be able to do at Daytona yep. is problematic tonight for big crashes. I feel so bad for Kurt Bush, second car of the weekend. Don't pit, don't pit, don't pit, don't pit. Jesus H. Christ, I'm on pit road past the commitment cone. He's coming all by himself, and you see this happen here occasionally. Just a 360 catch a gear and keep on going. But, Darrell, that's been the trouble spot for a lot of drivers all weekend long. Yep. Right in front of Keselowski. Ooh. Just everybody. Keselowski just caught him on the wrong side of the bumper. While he was turning in the he middle of the trial. To move. Yeah, he was making a move, and it just... The trial is the hardest part of this racetrack. I say it over and over again, but I know it looks simple, but it's the hardest part. They want you to drop part of the back. I am in there! I'm in there! Holy f***ing behind me! I'm in there! No, right, man, cool down. Let's send and get some points here. miles of battle. He's wrecking. He's got a right rear tire down. And he's around. And I end up flat side in the right side of the car to get a flat tire, spin out. The guy we're racing with spins out behind me. Bring out the caution flag. Oh, he just ends up parked on pit road next to us. Just random. I worked all night, and there it went. But I'm still on the lead lap, and I still got a chance on getting a set of tires and going back out there. So I burn out of the pit box, and I'm heading back out onto the track. Well, his pit crew guys thought that I endangered them. So, coming down pit road, I'm undoing my Hans device, I'm taking my helmet off, and then wham! I run into the back of Ryan Newman. And it's like, uh, that didn't need to happen. Now here he comes over and asks me what all that was. I go, honestly, I had no intentions of hurting you, hitting you. Stood there by the car afterward, and I waited for my pit crew to push that car back into the garage. I was cool. I was cool all the way until his crew decided they wanted to pick a fight with me and threaten with my girlfriend's name being used. I'm like, son of a bitch, I'm going to come after you with all the adrenaline I've got. If you beat me to a bloody pulp, at least I tried. But the still shot that's on the front page the next morning is me yelling at that crew guy. What started as a potential bright spot in this comeback year has ended in a PR nightmare. Kurt Busch third yesterday here in nationwide competition, and there's a good look, Wally. I'm trying to see who he gets into right there. I can't a make it out. A little bit of a brush. It's like the David Gillen machine that got him in the right side. Not to mention, I mean, he got right in the middle of those guys, oh, and yeah. he just lost the front of the car. It slid up, and he, and he caught uh, Trevor Bain. tell from that exactly what happened but he was definitely out of shape when he got there yeah you could see that looked like something definitely happened as he got down in the car just turned sideways and then hard into the wall left rear tire just blew out what broke right off the car left yep. rear tire just fell off told you, you can't count on anything here al wow that got just, out of the groove that just took off on him Look, that was a free pass. He was. God, what a shame. Mm. Well, Kurt Busch said he was out of gas. Doc, is that what's wrong with the five? I jumped back in it, and uh, the safety guy's like, hey, you got to get in the ambulance. You wrecked. 
I said, hey, I'm going to the garage area because this car will still run. So jump in the car, fire it up, drive away, and of course creates the, the Kurt Busch story of, of all time. Stop, Kurt. They want you to stop right now. They want you to stop. They want you to stop. Got his helmet off. He's not hearing them. Sure enough, you know, NASCAR's yelling at me on the radio to stop, and you're parked. And I didn't even know. I didn't have my helmet on. Caution out because Kurt Busch's car refired and drove away with the bag of the uh, safety workers' equipment on top of the roof of the car. The car does run out of gas. I don't make it back to the pits. So it almost looks like I finally yielded to NASCAR telling me to stop. I don't know that NASCAR's told me that I'm parked. And I see this, just this storm of people. It might not have hit anything, but there might be something he'd like to hit right now. Let's see what happens. Harvick drives it in. I don't think Kirk Busch had any idea that Harvick was coming there. 